It's already been three years since I bought the F80, and I've mostly enjoyed it in stock form, even though we did a few mods, the airlift performance suspension, a full exhaust system, and even some cosmetics. But this whole entire time, I've been eyeing a set of wheels made by BBS, the FIR. There's one problem though, the FIR wheels, they cost around $2,500 a wheel, and I have way too many products to spend that kind of money on just one set of wheels. And of the hundreds of wheel setups for the F chassis, I still wanted the FIR look, so I couldn't miss the opportunity when a group buy popped up. There's a wheel company that started designing and making wheels for BMW, mainly for track oriented wheels, called Apex Wheels. A lot of people probably have heard of Apex Wheels already. I've never actually owned a set of Apexes, so this is my first set of Apex Wheels, but I've only heard good things about them. And usually they're not this expensive. This is their new Sprintline Apex Wheels. So we actually paid extra for the finish that we went with, and we also got them on a group buy, so we got a, a little bit of a good deal. They actually came out to around 3,000 bucks, which is probably the most expensive set of wheels that we own now. And this is the first set of new wheels I've ever bought. So I'm super excited to see how they look, and let's see. I like how they're packaged, especially with this cover and everything. <laughs> oh my God. So they're called the VS. 5RS. They're forged sprint line apex wheels and the finish that we went with is a brush clear finish. Now we stuck with the 19 inch wheels. We went with a 19 by 10 in the front and a 19 by 11 in the rear. So we, don't, we shouldn't really have to run any spacers. Everything should fit perfect. And the tire size that we went with is 275 30 19 in the front and 305 30 19 in the back which should fill in that wheel well just perfect. Now I'm super excited to see how these look on the car. And I mean, honestly, just looking at them, it looks awesome. Wow. Now this is a front wheel, so it's a 10 inch wide. They're actually really light as well too, so they're not super heavy. The wheels that are on the F80 currently, the stock ones, those are pretty heavy. And now this is one of the rears, and I can already see, wow. This is like one of the widest wheels that we have. It's ridiculous. That's almost a whole foot. Oof. Man, we made the right choice by going with the brush clear. Quick FYI, if you're ever buying new wheels and tires for your newer car that has a tire pressure monitoring system. So we got these wheels almost a week ago and I forgot to order tire pressure sensors. And I don't wanna take the ones off of the stock wheels cause I wanna leave that as a whole combo just in case we need to put them back on for any reason. So I went ahead and bought all new tire sensors. I went and got the Autel MX-1 sensor. So these work for almost every car, but the only catch is you have to program them before you install them onto the wheels. A lot of the tire shops won't be able to program these unless they have the Autel tool, so make sure you call your tire shop and make sure they have that tool to program these, or you can buy the tire pressure sensors from the tire shop themselves. I looked over all of the wheels. I like to do that whenever we have any wheels before we get tires mounted, just to check for any blemishes and stuff. Now this, like I said, this is a brand new set of wheels. We got them directly from Apex. And this wheel, it's one of the rears, has a lot of blemishes around the wheel. So I think this is some issues with the actual metal casting itself. There's like a metal bubble right here. There's a lot of dirt and a lot of pitting in the metal, which is super weird for a brand new wheel. I'm surprised it passed the quality control. You see? Pass. <laughs> I'm, I, mean, I don't know how to feel. I mean, it's obviously they're going to get dirty. They're going to go on the, on the F80. They're going to get, you know, driven really hard. And Apexes are meant to be track wheels. So what would you guys do in this situation if you spent $3,000 on a brand new set of wheels and you had these kind of blemishes all over the wheel? I mean, I guess we're just going to roll with it. We don't have, we're not sponsored by Apex, so it's not like they could just send us another wheel. We're not buying another wheel. Let's just take it to the tire shop and hopefully that's the only blemish that stays on these wheels. Let's see if the daily can fit all of these 19s. We usually take all of our biggest tires and wheels are 18, so that usually we could fit those no problem. This is gonna be the first set of 19s. Either the gym is really working for me or these wheels are super light. Either way, it's a win-win situation.
Oh, light work. That's why you get a wagon. That is one meaty tire. This is how wide my whole body is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They're mounted. And it's raining. Yeah, let's go ahead and put them inside real quick. But as you can see, they got them on there. There's still some lubricant all over it, but we'll clean all that up. Wow, they look so good. I know, they look so different with the tires on it now. Now that the F80 is inside, it's time to remove the stockies. What a huge difference between the stock rear and the new rear wheels. And here is the difference from the fronts. Both the front and rear, there's such a massive difference. I can't wait to see how it looks on the car. So these wheels are exactly an inch bigger all around. Even the tires are bigger and it just has a lot better fitment than the old wheels. And also another positive note on these wheels is they are actually lighter. The whole setup with the new tires, bigger sizing and all, it's still a significant amount lighter than the stock wheels. If you guys wanna see the weight difference between this new setup versus the stock setup, be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as we will have a short comparison video on that soon. I am in love with the fitment of these wheels, but being so used to the stock wheels over the last three years, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about them just yet. I guess only time will tell. <laughs> 